I'm Jason Barr. With another last second finish, the Barstool Sports Arizona Bowl has kept viewers on the edge of their seats, even as the game's title sponsor might now be wobbling. With more than 30,000 fans watching Wyoming defeat Toledo on a last second field goal, Barstool Sports Arizona Bowl VP of Communications Eric Rhodes can claim his bowl beat out 17 others in attendance. Southern Arizona community really supported us. Obviously, Wyoming travels like no other. And now, the bowl game says it averaged more than 1 million viewers on the CW network, topping out just under 2 million viewers. And that doesn't include streaming. You can't argue with the numbers. The December 30th matchup was one of four Arizona Bowls that have been decided on the game's last play. That's half of the event's history. When I suggested that the bowl was just fortunate, Rhodes pushed back harder than the Toledo defense. You know, we spend a lot of time looking and watching both of our conferences, and we're really intentional about our, about our matchup. Controversial media company Barstool Sports is the most recent sponsor of the Arizona Bowl. You know, people love them or hate them. Uh, for us at the Bowl, they've been great partners. That includes money Barstool has granted into the southern Arizona economy. But now there's an elephant in the room known as Big Cat. Dan Katz is one of Barstool's top announcers. And when asked on Twitter if Barstool would return now that its three-year sponsorship agreement is up, he tweeted, Don't think so unless something drastic changes. Was a lot of fun doing it, but unless the financials drastically change on doing it, that's probably it. What did you think when you saw Big Cat's tweet? You know, I, I mean, it's, it's the world of social media. There's are people who say things, and Big Cat's a great personality. Um, he's not the decision maker. <laughs> Those would be Barstool President David Portnoy and CEO Erica Nardini. Sponsorships for a Group of Five game run seven figures. Bowl sponsors change all the time, and Rose is confident there will be one. There's even a new category of sponsors, celebrities. Former Wildcat Rob Gronkowski hosted this year's L.A. Bowl, formerly called the Jimmy Kimmel Bowl. And at the recent Barstool Sports Arizona Bowl, boxes of Snoop cereal were reportedly passed out in and outside the stadium. We're always looking for innovative ideas to put Southern Arizona bigger and better on the map and the Arizona Bowl to grow bigger and better. And if that's a celebrity person who puts their name on our bowl game, that would be an interesting road for us to go down. Eric Rhodes says he hopes to have a sponsor nailed down for next December's game by the summer at the latest. I'm Jason Barr on KGUN 9.